Good afternoon. Here we are. We are getting ready to celebrate a fun family 4th of July tomorrow, whatever that looks like. Comment and let me know how you're celebrating. We're pretty much just getting, um, well, just us in our house. And then my oldest son came home for the weekend. So that's pretty much it. It's much smaller than we normally have, but that's fine. It'll be a fun time and we're planning on eating a lot of good food. So for this week's Cook With Me edition, we are doing my favorite take on a cauliflower faux tato salad. To me, this one tastes the most like I remember grandma's potato salad tasting. So how do we do this? Super easy. I started with a head of just raw cauliflower. I gotta be honest, most of the time I start with two bags of frozen cauliflower and you, this is Ren. She's helping. Don't touch the eggs. Okay. Um, so you don't want them steamed to be as soft as you would if you were serving cooked cauliflower as a side dish. Think of how a boiled potato tastes. It's still got something that you bite down into it. So I steamed mine in water for probably mm, seven, eight minutes. Um, if I were cooking a couple frozen bags, I'd probably do each bag for maybe two minutes, 45 seconds to three minutes. So super quick. And then you drain off any water. So you start with that. I've already gone ahead and made the dressing. It is mayonnaise, mustard, salt, and pepper. Now, if you're wanting to keep things a little lighter because we tend to eat a lot of calorie dense foods when we're having fun, we've got the bratwurst and you know, this is you know maybe a rich dessert, cut the mayo with Greek yogurt. So that's an option. So you're gonna dump in your dressing like that. Then you gotta have the hard boiled eggs, right Ren? Mm -hmm. Here's my cute little egg slicer. My children normally fight me to, to be able to do this. So we do it two ways. You go lengthwise and you flip them up. My kids kind of think it's wrong that the chicken is actually the egg slicer. It's kind of like it's massacring its own kind. But you know, those are the kind of conversations we have around our dinner table. So we've got three eggs. Rin doesn't know how satisfying this is, so she's not asking to do it. Thanks, Rin. You're getting all ready for me. Dump those in. Last one. You can certainly make this your own because if your grandma's potato salad tasted a particular way, you can tweak the ingredients to make it so it tastes more like your Nana's. But this is what tastes like mine. Okay, now she always used sweet relish, but I don't want those sugar. So this is just chopped up dill pickles. It's hard to find dill relish. Sometimes you can, but usually I have to chop my own. I've got onion. I love raw onion. So that's like one raw onion. And then about a cup of frozen peas. Now you're supposed to really like thaw the peas ahead of time, but unless you're planning on serving it immediately, they'll thaw in the fridge and it's not a big deal. And Rin has been asking for some peas. So here, knock yourself out. You gotta love a kid that like is looking for peas. These are really like, have been in the freezer too long. They're a little, a little frosty. Oh well, no baby, they'll be fine. And then bacon. You know, <laughs> you want a bacon? Maybe a little bit. So, you know, you, I love to crunch up bacon with scissors too, but I forgot to grab them. So I'm getting my hands all greasy. So, you know, however many bacon okay. you think is moderate, I think, my recipe that I follow is, is about four slices. So now it's a little less because I'm having to pay, pay ransom and bacon. And then that's it. Mix it up, fridge it. It is kind of one of those things that if you can make it ahead of time, it does taste better the second day. But um, you know, it's just all the flavors get to know each other. This is almost too small of a bowl. What are we gonna do? Ah, uh, no. Because it would spill. It's almost smelling with mommy. So that's it. We're gonna pretend this is all mixed. Yummy. And have a fantastic 4th of July. Let me know how you're celebrating. Take care, bye.